on. Uh, always with you. At least you can't like go up into the screen anymore. Okay, we are oh, now on to hi. the food portion of the test. Um, tonight we I picked up a it's selection. Here. I picked up a selection of things just from our local like grocery store. You know, ethnic food aisle, whatever. They have a lot of fun stuff. Um, so we have something C snacks with an X chompers. Chompers. Um, chompers. And this one is barbecue, and they are strangely addictive. That's what it says. I predict not addictive because they're crunchy seaweed chips. Not addictive. All right. The next thing we have, and this one is a product of, what did you say this is a product of? Uh, was, uh, Korea. Was yes. that Korea? Yeah. Okay. Product of Korea. This one is Koala, Lot Koala's March artificially flavored chocolate cream filled cookies. Um, so this looks like it could be really tasty. What did I say this one was from? Uh, Thailand. This is a product of Thailand. And then we have Puchow. Four fruit flavors. Grape, strawberry, mango, melon. Made in Japan. Gummy, soft candy. And Puchow. There, there we go. Looks like it could be very tasty and interesting. Uh, we're going to start with Chompers. We're going to start with probably the least tasty in industry. Non-GMO verified. So let's open it up. But the nice thing is that if you enjoy these sorts of snacks, this has the resealable. Um, so your chompers stay they fresh. Don't get stale. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, it does not. Smell I mean, it kind of smells like a. Ugh. Okay, the bag kind of smells like a corn chip. Let's see if we can. Um, I'm not really sure what is that green. It's seaweed. something dark inside, but then it's almost like a pork rind on the up, or a corn chip on the outside. What? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What is this? Um, okay, it's rice flour, rice bran oil, tapioca starch, natural barbecue, organic coconut sugar, sea salt, and onion. So it is rice. It's like a little rice crisp or something. All right. um, when you open it up, you can see this. It's like a sheet of seaweed that's been deep fried in rice batter or something. Wrong? So many things. We didn't cheers on the last video, and I feel really bad about that. Remember the cameras up there? I'm sorry, I forget. I know. All right. Okay, here we go. Hmm. If you ignore that seaweed flavor that's kind of running underneath everything, um, the barbecue is pretty, it's not overwhelmingly strong, like if you eat barbecue chips, but it's definitely there. But so too is the underlying seaweed flavor. Well, it's like those wasabi seaweeds that I did not mind at all. Those were awful. Those I were little sheets of seaweed. They were wasabi. -y. They were good. Wow. Mm -hmm. A little seaweed snack. So. I don't know if it's strangely addictive. No. But On the second one, them. like they're not the worst thing we've had with seaweed in my book. Um, but you can feel like if you eat seaweed, you have that definite seaweed, like it's like a scent. It's like a cloying flavor that goes up the back of my sinuses. And, um, we have a cat right next to the camera. He might hmm, interfere. So anyway, not, not, not bad. It's not something. Choppers were not bad. Okay. It's not something I would eat again. But I would lay money that our oldest son would eat them all if we let him. So. Probably. He kind of eats anything. And those, he likes barbecue chips. And those are close enough to some sort of snack that he would just devour them all. All right. Your question for you. Do you want to do the fruit next or the chocolatey koalas next? Let's do the koalas. Okay. You just like the box. So. I do. So you can see the box is this little, like, hexagon with a little pull top at the top. Um, like so, so that it can hypothetically be resealed. Um, hi, dog. You don't get any choppers or koalas. So, and it's in this little, um, like a foil package. It's not terribly large. And just so you know, I wasn't joking about the cat being possibly in the camera. Um, it stop, likes to be a stop part of the action me. when there's food involved. Stop licking me. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So let's uh, have some scissors here for easy open. Like so. This All is right. ridiculous, by the way. You can't see that. So 
There it is. There it is. Just waiting. Okay. I know everybody only watches these for the pets and not necessarily for the people. But the hold on. We have to really show. Cute. Stop licking me. Sorry. Every time I adjust the camera, the cat licks me. So, all right. Remember where the camera is, Carrie. Okay. So let's show you. There is. Okay. This is the back side where you can see the little fill hole. Okay. Um. And then the front side actually has a little teeny koala on it, and it's kind of adorable. It's adorable. The little teeny koala is holding a little teeny apple. That is what's in the... I can't I can't necessarily go closer because it won't show, but... My koala's not holding an apple. Oh. Are they all different? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, we just made a huge discovery. <laughs> this koala... Aww. And some of them have... No, they all have... Nope. Some of them have bows. Some of them don't. This koala is blushing. There's little lines on the face and they're holding their paw up. This koala is holding a heart. <gasps> These are all this different. This koala is winking. Oh my goodness. This okay. koala is also okay. winking. Okay, we can't go through the Sorry. whole thing. We okay. should probably we try the koala. All right, I'm going to eat the blushing koala because it is, is so dang cute. It's got little lines on its face. All right, I'm going to eat. What are you going to eat? There's a heart koala. I'm going to eat the winking koala. That's not the winking one. This yeah, is the winking. Oh, the swinging too? Okay. All right, here we go. Boop. Okay. So the chocolate inside is hardened. It was like a, it was filled warm and then it was left to harden. It's like um, it's like an animal cracker mm -hmm. with a little chocolate filling. With actual, what, what would you equate to chocolate? It's almost like a, like a candy bar chocolate, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you say it's like a candy bar chocolate? And it, it's just like, it's like half full. No koalas um, for you. There you can no see it there. For you. Where they filled it with it sitting like this, the fill hole being on the top. They filled it like this, and then the chocolate kind of settled in the bottom and cooled and hardened. These are really good. They're quite tasty. Mm. We have to move on. Okay, moving on. The chow. We're coming back to these koalas though. Ooh, they are individually wrapped. So you know which flavor you're getting. There's a mango. Oh, that's nice. There's a grape. Okay, let's there's show them. There's a strawberry. So you can see. And there's a melon. The wrapping's here. All right, I'm going to eat a, a mango to start. I'm going to have strawberry. I don't like strawberry. There's grape, melon. Okay. And these are supposed to be, um, are you getting it open? Mm-hmm. I didn't get mine open. Okay. These ah. are supposed to be chewy. Are they chewy? They're very chewy. Really? Mm. Is it like a Starburst? Mm, very chewy. Okay. I may break a tooth. So you can see here. Um, it's, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm not showing you. Okay. So it's like a starburst. It's like a little square. But it, it's like a different color on the outside. You can see the white. And then is it filled with something? Mm -hmm. It's very chewy. It's like taffy. Okay. It's not like a starburst. <clears throat> It's not like a Starburst. Starburst are fairly chewy, easy to chew up. These are extremely chewy, almost like taffy. Which they might be taffy. I don't know. They're for chow. That's but the thing is, know. the inside is slightly chewier than the outside. The outside makes it hard to chew up. It's almost like a harder coating. The mango is really good. Strawberry is good too. It's just chewy. It's very sweet. We might have to finish this while we're still chewing, okay? Because hmm. I'm going to be chewing this for a while. Okay. So, chompers. It's not bad. I mean, it's... it's I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it... Yeah. I would never eat it again, though. So, it's more like this for me. But it wasn't like make a face disgust, okay? Yeah. Which, well, for seaweed, which for a seaweed snack is really good in my book. Koala snacks were delicious. It was like a little chocolate, a heart, uh, like harder chocolate flavor, um, coat, um, filled, like graham cookie or, or animal cracker yeah, or something. They were good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were light. The cracker was super thin. It was so yummy. The pachow. Are tasty. They're just hard to chew. The mango. Really good flavor. I love mango. Tastes just like mango. It's not like, I didn't taste the other flavors. I don't like a lot of artificial fruit flavor. 
So I, I don't like artificial fruit flavor. Strawberry or melon. I love real strawberries, melon. But that mango is spot on with how a mango tastes. Still chewing. So if you want like an all day candy, grab three of those and put Have them in your pocket. Chow. Yeah. Pachow. All right. I'm going to give koalas a thumbs up and I'm going to give the buchow a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So those are really good. Well, and again, if you like this sort of thing, grab a couple. It'll last you for a few hours. I think are just right. Koalas March, also delicious. Um, Chompers. The Sea Snacks, barbecue flavor. Meh. They weren't terrible. They weren't awful. So. The dog would like to try them. She no. wants it real bad. I don't know that the dog should. No, probably not. We're not going to encourage that. Oh, look, she came back for the second video at the very end. We're going to say goodbye now, Maya. Jill, Clark, we're going to say goodbye. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to do like a semi-thumb and then two thumbs up for the other two. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Stop it. I wasn't doing anything. Still chewing. Just so you know. All right. And that's it. We're signing off. Um, second taste test. Down the tube. So long. Uh, what is what is our... What, do we have a tagline? No. We need a tagline. Well, we don't have one. It's just me making faces. Taste you later.